Dr. Abulaish, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. I thank you. Appreciate you being here. You're giving a talk tonight, but when this airs, it, the talk will have been last week. Um, so people won't, will, if they haven't heard you already, won't have a chance to know exactly what happened to you that day uh, in uh, Gaza. Could you briefly describe that? I am coming today really to tell a human message, a human story, not just a Palestinian or an Israeli story. It's a human where people are human. 16th of January 2009, a crazy moment is the day when I lost the three precious daughters and niece by an Israeli tank shell which hit their do my daughter's room, killing those beautiful, lovely, bright daughters and niece for nothing they did. And there was no reason to be killed. They were girls armed with love, with hope, with the dreams. And it's a lesson for others. Is this the right approach to deal with each other as a human being? Killing, is it going to save the world or to make it worse? We have to change our course and to value human life and to respect the human life and to work for it. Now you were you were uh, grew up in Gaza, surrounded by hatred, and then you write this book that says, "I shall not hate." What what do people? Is it how do you learn not to hate? How do you how do you prepare people, or or do you think you could send a message? To... As you said, surrounded by hate. So if I want to change someone, I have to change the environment, mm -hmm. to change the surrounding. No one is born carrying the hate inside or the violence inside him. All of us, we carry the good and the love since we were born. And that's what do we want to work. And what have I changed, even for me, which helped me? My education. Education helps you to use your mind because as a human being, and the difference between a human being and animals, that we have choices and to use our minds not to do or commit self-destructive acts. My faith helped me a lot. My profession also, because hate, for those people who are thinking hate, is the right approach. Is it going to help them? Hate is a disease. Hate is a poison. Hate is a toxin. Hate is not the right approach. You can't deal something negative with negative. The negative to be attracted, you need the positive. Hate, hate, it needs love and understanding and wisdom to overcome this hate. Darkness, you need the light. Now you were a doctor in Israel serving Israelis. Was that a decision that you made consciously to, to bridge that gap? That I believed in it because medicine as I believe in, has one face. It has a human face. It hasn't any relation with name, ethnicity, religion, or background. It knows just one value, to value human life, to save and to heal and to give happiness and to minimize the suffering of a human being. That's medicine. Um, you're on a tour right now uh, throughout the country. This is the last state that you're in? Yes. And uh, you'll continue on into Europe? I will be because the book has been translated into about 15 languages and it will be covering most of the world. And I wrote this book. It's not my book. It's everyone's book. Everyone's belief. It's a human message to inspire the people in a time of despair. The people are frustrated to tell the people Look around you, the world can be changed. Just to start to do something. And that's the main message of the book. It's not my book or my message. It's everyone's book and everyone's message. It's not about the Palestinian and the Israeli. It's about your humanity and this world. Well, it sounds inspiring. And I'm, I'm so happy that you're doing this. And I, and I look forward to reading it myself. I hope other people do. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Back to you, Leslie.